Welcome back to this channel. In this lesson, we'll talk about the press pull command. How and when can we use this command? We use the press pull command to, to press or pull an object. And this object can be closed or open objects. It can be 2D or 3D object. Let's now give here an example. We are, we are already in uh, the interface of AutoCAD 2020 and uh, we're gonna make a drawing here. We'll just start. I will now start the drawing and I will just come here to the polygon and I will keep five sides, give enter and then specify, inscribe and then make the, the drawing here. I will just keep this side. I can also here make another one by copying this one here, just copy this one and then gonna put it right here okay now let me here go to the, the the vision here the view change to shade it and I will as well just uh, press shift scroll down and move your mouse just to to activate the the, the orbit as you see right now we are on the top so right now when we activate if you want to know how to activate just come here in the 3d modeling just and then choose so right now mine is already activated. just come here and click so we need to activate in 3d model by default when we activate for the first times we'll always uh, come to the top so right now we have the uh, z axis so it is on the top so i will use the top uh, option and uh, it can come to the press pull, activate command, and then put where you want to press. So when I come here, so it is a blue, mean that everything that is selected will be pressed. Again, also here. And it can, can come here, and then uh, I will uh, also delete the grid, just put off the grid. It is better now. Now I click, and then go up or down. We'll just go up at this time. And then specify the height, just put here 6. We can also do here, this time we'll put up, then also put 6. So when we use the press pull, we can also change the height, for instance. So, so I put 6, and then come here, click again. You can also put up or down. So if we go up, I need to specify how much I want to add. Let's just put here 3 more. And then this change. I can also decrease going down. I need to specify how much I want. I can, I can put like minus 3. So it will decrease. Or press, click and then just go down. It will also decrease. So uh, we can also make a hole inside of this drawing. To make a hole, just come here, make a hole uh, here. I will just make kind of line in the middle of this one here and then make a hole in the center find the center and then make the hole right there and then I can just delete this line so go to the press what I want to do just go where I want to make the hole click and then go down double click so as you can see here we just made a hole sometimes um, you can also like we have also here other side you can just press and then go increase you can also come here and then go increase but not that uh, when i i click we just here give to, to this side here when i click to move there is also here a option multiple just come here click the multiple and then select as many side as you want to increase to pull or press for that, just uh, press Shift, and then you can select more sides, and then give Enter. Now you can pull together. Just here, come to this side, and then click. So that's the way we use a, a press pull. Let's just here very quickly make a, a flange, a blind flange. We just come here to the circle, make, and then Enter again, just to make it here a blind flange see how it is very easy to make this one here they also come there and uh, you can just make it here the hole 
put the number just put it here one okay 0 0.6 and then it goes to the pull array and then select select enter center and so here change by 8 and then close the array and then come here delete we're gonna here make a, um, a kind of a blend plan just come to the press and then start from this one here first let's see here put let's see two enter now this size here we can put uh, 1.6 as you can see this is a blind flange there is also a line there inside of that there is a line to take out that line you need just first to join this all because they are if I, I put here the mouse they are separated to join this one just goes to solid or coming just here right click union select where you want to join and then give enter so now they are joined select and then just move to one side and then there is line here so also make here another another one which is a, a coupling hub to make a coupling hub you just need to make one more sequel right there like that 2.5 and then enter now i can go to the press and then come there so I hold there here you can just come here is total right and here just the two of them okay and then I, I can move just here put uh, let's see eight now I come here and then go a little bit go so up and I can put here let's see 1.8 so we just made a coupling hub and then to have a good uh, finish just go to solid then go to the field edge define the, the, the radius you want to put just put here 0 0.3 or 2 and then come to where you want to put this, this edge and then enter goods so we just did here the coupling hub and also the, the flange as you can see so it is very simple to use this command so I hope you like and please don't forget to subscribe and also again to take out this um, line as you can see if I, I go down if uh, I if I turn out down there is also the line we will do the same by first one join union select the object you want to, to union give enter now it is done now select again move just move and then then come here delete everything so we have here the flange and uh, the coupling as you can see here there is a smooth surface right and we'll talk more about this sold in the surface in the next lesson in the other lesson so that's all and uh, thank you very much to watch these videos and please don't forget to subscribe i hope you learn how to use the press pull command